Well, hello there. Greetings, my fellow mutants. Well, today, I've got a whole bunch of props that I have to paint. So, we're going to get right to that. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow, comment, all that good stuff. All right. All right. So, just for time's sake, I went ahead and wet sanded first with the 320 and then primed three coats and then wet sanded one more time with the 400 grit and one final coat of the primer. Ow. Five minute epoxied the handles together. Turned out pretty well. Alright, now this is flat black, perfect match, dupla color. Now, before I started this, I actually put this in warm water for five minutes. I was told by a buddy of mine who's a painter that it actually kind of helps the paint absorb to like the surfaces easier like it atomizes it or I don't know it does something there's a whole bunch of science behind it I wasn't really listening and paying attention but he said it works really well if you put it in hot water for five minutes so now my garage is a mess a lot of projects and anyways let's get to the subject at hand so I got the back plate for the scabbard I got the Bia and Arthur end caps Got the Desert Eagles. Scabbard holder. The actual scabbard itself. Figure since I'm painting it black, I mean harness is black anyway, so. And the other Desert Eagle. Hopefully I don't get too much overspray, so we'll see. Always Safety first. Get your masks on. I'm going to do three even light coats.
looks like this can is about to be done. All right, well, my first shot of this didn't go over so well, so we'll try it again, but I'm gonna be doing these for a second coat in this candy apple red. It's like an anodized red metal. But same with the other ones, I coated these three times with the primer after wet sanding with the 320 and then jumped to the 400 wet sanded and then one final coat of priming. Now the can says wait 10 minutes between this one at least wait 10 minutes in between and do two light coats and then a medium wet coat to finish so three in total kind of the end product until I throw the silver on there. The flat black dried is this weird gray. I'm not really sure why. It also like cracked and peeled up in certain places. I don't know, I'm assuming it's possibly primer didn't get there, but all in all it turned out pretty well and I had a backup plan with acrylic, which is what you see kind of touched up all around. But I also taped this off, painted it black underneath here for the handles. Really not sure why it uh, folded up like that. But I think it turned out pretty good nonetheless. And still got to do the silver over it, so maybe it'll add character to it. I ended up using flat black acrylic on these as well kind of touched them up. I don't know if you can see that's kind of the gray on the top what it was before. And I used multiple cans so there's no way that like cans got mixed up or something. But improvise. These actually turned out really well. The gloss on most of them turned out really good. It's a little cloudy up there. I'm gonna do one more coat on it, but turned out really good. It's a little cloudy right here. Not sure why it does that, but <clears throat> repainted this as well. Looks a lot better with the acrylics. Same with the uh, scabbard blade holder. Here is my progress so far on wrapping. I actually cut out printed this out and cut these out individually on this little foam sheet right here and then folded them over on themselves and glued them so there's actually two little layers right there and I've just been shoving them right up underneath in those corners give it a little bit more definition and character All right, next time.